Hey everybody, this is Larry up in Brandon, Minnesota. You know, I love soup year-round. Summertime, wintertime, fall, it don't matter. I just love soups. And one of my favorites is chicken and dumpling soup. But just not any dumpling soup. Not them little hard round balls that you can bounce like a ping pong ball. Nope. I like the fluffy ones my dad showed me how to make. Out of Bisquick. Yep, I love them. They are fantastic. Delicious. But the problem is... They fall apart, right? No, they don't. Okay, you want to make some great, puffy, fluffy dumplings. This quick, right? But you don't want them to thicken your whole stew mix or chicken soup mix when you're making it. Which typically happens if you follow the Bisquick's recipe on the back of their box, it'll say take two cups of Bisquick, two-thirds of a cup of milk, mix it together, and by spoonfuls, put it on boiling on your boiling soup or whatever, uncovered for 10 minutes in the cover for 10 minutes. Here's the problem. A lot of times that by the time you go back to check it, it disintegrates. The whole dumpling falls apart and it thickens just like a roux your whole chicken and, chicken soup. And then when people say, well, I want more dumplings, pretty soon it's like paste. It's so thick. Here's the trick. A couple things to do so the dumpling doesn't fall apart and so you never run, to that, run into that problem, and you can have as many dumplings as you want. Here's what, let's start. Okay, if you're just going to make a small batch of dumplings, and you don't want to make a whole bunch, you can do them right in the pot that you got the chicken and soup in. I'll just show you how to make these dumplings so they don't fall apart. But if you're going to cook for a bunch of people, and they say, well, I want dumplings too, and I want... that's why you don't want to do a whole bunch of dumplings in the chicken soup because it'll get thicker and thicker and thicker. What do you do? You get yourself some Swanson's or other good brand of chicken broth. You can either take, even take better than bouillon beef base and make your own broth and do it. Anything's better than just plain water. Put it on a stove in a standard saucepan, okay? And heat, put it on medium and bring it up to a simmer. Get it to about a simmer, okay? Why it's getting up to a simmer we're going to make this mix. Here's what's in this mix. You're going to need mix quick. You're going to need milk. And you're going to need eggs. That's what we're going to need. The egg is the binder that really helps us. has great flavor. It don't taste eggy. And it makes them fluffy. And it holds them together. And the trick is we're not going to boil the water. We're only going to, or the broth, excuse me. But we're only going to simmer it. So we're going to mix this up, and here's how we're going to do it. Okay, now we're going to make our special little formula for our Bisquick dumplings that won't fall apart, and they'll be fluffy, and you'll love them, and you can make them separately if you want to make a bunch, or do them in the thing, and they won't fall apart. Here's how we're going to do it. We're going to start with one egg and whisk it in a bowl. After we whisk that, you're going to add one-third cup milk, and you're going to whisk that into it, Okay. Then to that, you're going to add one cup of Bisquick. And you're going to mix that in gently, just, just enough to incorporate it. You don't want to beat the heck out of you. It'll make it tougher you don't want. After you've got it all mixed up in the bowl like this, now spoon it in small spoonfuls in your simmering broth. Don't, don't bring it above a simmer. And leave the lid off for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes... Set, reset the timer for another 10 and put the lid on. Now check them. If they're a little bit doughy yet, take one out, check it. They shouldn't be, depending on the size. Check them again. You can even flip them. They'll be just perfect. They won't break apart. They'll be fine. Now you can scoop up your chicken soup, add your dumplings on top, and it will not thicken your whole batch, and you'll all be happy campers, and everybody can have dumplings and everybody will be happy. That's the trick. This is Larry at Brainerd, Minnesota. Thanks. Ciao.